Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video, promising what I said I would do in the D-Free video, which I've been doing a lot of, uh, Marvel Snap videos with D-Free, well, a lot is like two, where I said I'm trying to release once, one a week, and it's a good time to release it because I'm finally in Infinite, so I can play whatever the hell I want. And looking at this, it looks like there's a season pass thing for discarding cards. I see my daily missions. So for today, I'm going to be jumping into uh, Grinding Conquest. And I'm just going to be playing this deck, which I call Draw the Out. Um, it's not very good, but it does have this very nice crystal variant. Look at that. And that's the main reason I use this deck. But this is the basic breakdown. Um, I play Nebula. I play Morb. Um, a War Collector, and <laughs> these are the two I hope to play on turn two. On turn three, I hope to have Apocalypse in hand, so I can play Sif into Apocalypse, and if I don't have them, I play either Crystal or Dokken, hoping to get Dracula on point on turn four. On turn five, Modok. Uh, turn six, win, and hopefully it all works out for me. Maybe I have Swarms in my hand, maybe I don't. Like I said, it's not the greatest deck in the world, but it is my deck. So let's go right into it. Um, you could probably run Wolverine instead of Crystal, but I like Crystal. So that's why I'm using her. So let's go into Conquest. Doom. Uh, I'm going to be going into Proving Grounds, because Proving Grounds is the easiest place to just, like, boom. I just need to get some wins in here. And I need to... Start getting some more points so I can play with, uh, so I can get my anime Wolverine. I think I'm like, what? Yeah, a couple, three purchases away. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. No, four. I'm four. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Hopefully I can win some silver tickets with this. But it's also just as likely that I lose. But sometimes when you can win with just the pure power of Dracula, to be honest. I've had a decent enough win rate with it. Not the greatest, but it is not by any stretch of the imagination. It's a very good deck. So, we start off by snapping with the cube. Bar with no name. We gotta give him... Well, oh, how do I do it on here? We gotta give him the fist bump. There we go. End turn. We both know what we're here for. <laughs> we are here for a short time, not a long time. <laughs> Mirror Dimension. Um, that's the definition of bad, if I'm being 100% real with you. Um, I'm gonna pass turn, because if Mirror Dimension is not what I think it's gonna end up being, we're gonna have some troubles. Oh, Lord Almighty. Okay, so Mirror Dimension is either gonna turn into Bar with no- this guy is brave. I'll give him this, because it's either going to turn into um, Bar With No Name <laughs> or The Vault, which are both not great options, but they are both options. So I'm going to play Dracula here. <sighs> I really want to play Swarm, actually, I think is the right play here. Maybe followed up by Colleen? I got a Modok on five, and then the last card here has to be Dracula. I think that's the way it's gonna have to play out. He's gonna Cyclops me 100%, but I need to have so much power it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, I had to do that before he did anything else. Okay, so we got Dracula in the building. And now, <laughs> I just have to win by more. Nine, respectable. He's gonna hit me. Let's see, I have to be winning by more than four. Uh, I think this wins. Let's see, I get minus two. He's gonna get plus one somewhere. Let's do it. Modak. Ooh. Did not realize that he did not have advantage there and he loses. Nice. <laughs> a win is a win. He did not realize he had thrown advantage because of Cosmo, I think. Let's see if he actually does the honorable thing and leaves. He does have an infinity border. He understands. Yeah. That was a tough fight. That was hilarious. You know what? He tried it, and I respect him for it. 
So, that's boom, one silver ticket, one. Oh yeah, baby. 20 medals earned. Oh, feels good. Silver tickets, sweet old, sweet old silver tickets. So I've got 60 in there. Let's go back in there. Boom. Again, I do think that this deck is probably decent enough to win a silver ticket. It's just not the greatest. It's just one of those decks that just wins because Dracula sometimes just kind of sneakily wins you the game. Because um, a lot of people have trouble fighting Dracula. And the only card that really stops Dracula is you have so much power it doesn't matter. Or um, on, t on turn to advantage, what is his name? It's the three one that lets you draw two. Uh, Nebula? Nebula? Okay, let's see. I mean, he's not going to play in Jotunheim. Do I really go for here? It's a hilarious place. So let me see. Will this eventually heal be minus one? And then I'll get two. You know what? I'm, I'm going to try it. Oh, wait. I forgot. My bad. I almost completely forgot to do Live that. From the Daily Bugle. What? Same deck. <laughs> the, the, the literal same deck. He realizes it too. <laughs> We're both playing the same deck. <laughs> it's funny. Can I draw Apocalypse though? That's the question. I draw Modok, which is nice. Okay. I think I attempt to Crystal here. Way to plant, Nebula. Well, I drew Morb. Unfortunately, I think on turn four. Am I still gonna go for... I think I'm gonna show him his Dracula. I just need Apoc next turn. Come on, Apoc. Apoc, please. Apoc, please show up right here. You are not Apoc. <laughs> Okay, um, let's do it. Yes, yes, I'm pro this. Okay, so here's the funny thing. Can I actually just get a bunch of collector stuff? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to uh, more be more of here and try and win this way. This is tough. Because I'm drawing America Chavez next. Yep, there's Modoc. Colleen, Wa, Swarm. Was it my Swarm or was it? I guess I'll never know. But he drew Apoc, which is not good for me. That is very bad. Okay. Let's do it, bro. Uh, I feel like playing these is the right option here, but to give my more more discard material, I'm gonna keep it like this. Nine, yep. I think he just wins here. Yep, unfortunately nothing I can do here. I just needed APOC and I did not draw APOC. GG's, he wins this one. As it goes sometimes. Oh yeah, all three powerful nebula. Okay, now I know for a fact it's not a good idea to play in <laughs> Jotunheim with <laughs> with nebula. But I did. I wanted to see if the map worked out. But he played the right. He played it right. If you just do nothing, then the nebula is suppressed by its own effects, and you don't really have to do anything. But you know, I didn't, how the fuck was I supposed to know? All right, fair enough. <clears throat> Next. He really got the best card out of my hand, too, it looked like. Well, it might have actually been Colleen and not Wasp. Now that I looked at it, but who knows. Mm -hmm. Cards can't be destroyed. Oh, boy. Yes. Let's do it, brother. Brother in arms. 
We are not here to play the long game. We are both here to farm out silver tickets and lose. Kitty Pride. Uh, what? Uh, what uh, I was gonna say. What deck could this be? It could be literally any of them. There's literally thousands of them. I'm gonna play Collector first. Then likely Crystal, depending on my top deck right here. Yeah, it's a smart idea to play in Wakanda. That's annoying. That's good, though. I'm gonna Crystal and see what I can get. Ooh, that's really cool. What deck are you playing? I currently am in the lead. Is this Galactus? I think I'm gonna bet on safety and go with Sif first. And see what he plays, because I almost feel like this is 100% Galactus. Well, let's see what he does. I don't fear any very much from Galactus anymore, because all they have now is, um... Uh... I guess this isn't Galactus. Okay, that's cool. The fear of Galactus is strong in me. You can tell. Um... Ooh. That's actually very bad. Swarm came at the worst possible time. Uh... I guess just do this and don't miss. Just don't miss. Yeah, just don't miss. Hope that maybe he plays less into this because he sees how much drag. Yeah, well, you know what? You know, let's go for it. I'm pretty sure that this is now a weenie swarm deck, which in which case I lose because unfortunately that swarm was literally the worst card I could have drawn. Mm, very annoying. If I had drawn him a little bit earlier, I would have been able to just get rid of him. But, you know, we'll figure it out from here. What are you playing, my guy? It's not that hard to just play Kitty and then play a bunch of bounce cards. I actually am very curious what he's playing now. I don't know what deck uses... Is it actually just bounce? Oh, dude, that's great for me. That is hilarious levels of good for me. Because now I can just play Morb and I can play Swarm and then I can get rid of my hand. Even if he does end the game right here, it's fine because I can still have um, Dracula be a 8, 8, or 9, uh, 8, 12, or 9, and that's perfectly fine with me. And that will increase Morbius by 2, um, which will make him a 4, I think. Oh, no. What are you cooking? What are you cooking, my guy? This is an insane hand. I need to see the vision, my guy. Because I'm, I'm liking what you're doing. I just need to see more of it. I don't think I fight for this. I ain't about to fight for Angela, for an Angela lane. Basically, the question here now is 20 power enough to just win the Dracula lane. Let's find out. I mean, he can play his entire hand. He has like six cards in hand. This will drop him down by two. Hmm. What are you playing, my guy? I need to see this through. But does he know how much to play? That's the question. Plays it all, you know. Oh, wow. Mm, Spectrum. Dazzler. I think that is enough to beat me, though. Yes, that is exactly enough. Damn. Uh, if I had known it was that weak, I would have probably played <laughs> Modok on the Limbo Lane. But to be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to be that late. Alright, well. I'm out of here. It was close. Uh, that was maybe the worst... The worst play I could have lost to. That's hilarious, though. 
It was not a very... <laughs> what he had was not very good. <laughs> Perhaps one of the craziest, terrible pop-offs I've ever seen on a turn 7. Most turn 7 decks that are, like, crazy comboing off like that are usually, like, pretty decent. But that was just, like, so insanely, like, nothing of a play. If it wasn't for me just kind of bricking, I don't think it would have done anything. Ooh, Colleen Wing, huh? Unfortunately, unless I draw something really good, I can't play Colleen next turn. Danger Room. That's pretty good. You know what? Just don't miss. Just don't miss. Just don't miss. It's that simple, folks. <laughs> Do I really throw this entire lane? <laughs> For actually, this sounds like it'd be hilarious as well. I would get eight. I'd get a fuck ton to my hand, to be honest. I mean, that would basically win that lane. You know what? Oh wait. I'm sorry. I forgot to do that. Sometimes in Proving Grounds, I just straight up forget and I start just playing normally. So now it's like, probably this guy's thinking like, ah, oh, I guess he's just playing like a normal deck. But no. If I lose here, I'll probably just leave. Wow, impressive. Okay, I'm gonna play... Uh, Dracula in Dark Dimension. He has to keep playing in middle. It's a Mr. Negative deck. Okay. That makes things a little bit worse for me. Um, I can play here. It's fine. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a single thing that I can draw that really helps me. Um, we'll try. Maybe the crystal can draw me something. I just realized that the Dracula is going to be really small. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, that's going to be a really big lane, <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, just don't miss. The good thing is, is that he can't Shang Bar Sinister, so I think Iron Man actually wins that that lane for him. Giving him the fist, fist bump. Iron Man wins him Bar Sinister. I realize that now. I should have snapped earlier, just to let him know, like, hey, I'm leaving after this regardless. I don't have it. I'm not him. I'm sorry. But if he does play Danger Room... It will be really funny if he just both those units die. But he probably has null or something. I don't know. He does have null. But what does he have on the other side? <laughs> this is where he learns I had nothing. <laughs> oh no, he has gambit. I lose. <laughs> oh, it's black panther. No, I still lose. No, never mind. Well, now that I've won, I feel awkward. I don't really want to play this many games against a Mr. Negative deck. They're so annoying. Good to know about his deck, though. He's using Wong Black Panther. Probably has... Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being honorable, Mr. Negative. Truly an, a man among men, scared of spiders. Ego, take the wheel. That's a man who knows to snap when Ego's here. It's a man of honor. It's a man of taste. Or a woman. Or, uh, on, in between. Whichever one. Alright, let's go for one last one. Let's draw the out one last time. Get this stuff on the road. Again, I don't think this is the best deck ever, but it does occasionally win, and that's enough for most decks, to be honest. Except for the higher of high tiers. Once you start fighting, like, 
the Spider-Man deck, the Patriot deck, the Infinite, the Infinite deck, then you're gonna start losing heavy. But if you're just playing against like, whoa, whatever, okay, give cubes. You got it, bro. Okay, here, I'm about to do the funniest thing ever. I'm gonna give him this, these swarms. Let's go, brother. Yes. We know what's up. We know the game. I don't believe you. Okay, so he's playing Swarm. So I think that's just as likely that... Uh, if he's playing... <laughs> oh. Here you go. Well, he's not playing a, um... The deck I thought he was playing. Uh, let's see. I'm losing. I'm losing. Let's go. Actually, I can give him crystal. I don't care. Here you go, brother. Here's a crystal. He really doesn't care. Okay. It's a weird way to act, but you know what? Go ahead, my guy. Um, there you go. And that is here. Yeah, let's do it. I like this guy's attitude. <laughs> For being 100% real with you. I'm a fan so far. I'm not gonna play the shard here. Uh, that should be good enough. Honestly, he can still 100% whoop my ass. No problem. Korg? Sure. Iceman. Oh no. Oh no, bro. I like the way he's playing. Yeah, I see why he's winning. It's pretty good there. Should have actually just gone Modok onto Onslaught and I would have won. He got me. He got me with the damn pig. No, I knew what's up. It's pretty good. But either way, I'm only here to lose. I'm gonna go in one more though, because I got got pretty good in that one. That's the other really bad thing about why, why almost no one plays Apocalypse is that, uh, yeah, one single ham completely screws you. Oh no, what's going on here, PC playing? Are you okay? No! Okay. Now, if I was smart, I would have realized that, oh, I could just have played this on the other side and won that. But I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Oh, it just turns out cool. Snap. Let's do it. Oh, we can fight for that. Let's do it. He's a destroy, but what kind of destroy? What side is he on? I can play a Daken. Or Daken, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Uh, okay, so now we can't be um, Galactus there, which is nice. I'll just play Nebula and I get a free one right here. Ooh, Ultron. Doesn't really mean anything at this point. Uh, da -da -da -da. Actually, funny enough, can I just play Ultron here? And then, because it, it doesn't really matter. Now that I think about it, nothing else I, I do here matters, but... This one does stop Galactus, so if it looks like I think he's gonna Galactus me, I can play him, but for now I'm fine. Oh yeah, he's going for that heavy Galactus play. He can't beat me on there, so if I just... Honestly, if I just Chavez here, he can't, he can't hit me with Galactus, so what do I care? 
Um, go. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have advantage. It's fine. and then that will give me double discard on Dracula and I think I'm pretty good from here. I could go here. Yeah, that works. Yes, okay. Sure. Ding, ding. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I just barely. Lost by just barely enough. Let's see, if I had put anything else here? No. Uh, I was, yeah, I was doing all right. Concede. Boom, another one went through. Yay for some Chavez ones. You know what? I think I'm good. I'm still good for another one. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for one more. And then this will seriously be the end of it all. There we go. One final one. Can I get one final silver ticket in here? Let's go here. I don't even need to see that first location. Already it's a snap. Hell yeah. Let's go. Hmm, now let's see, do I play Collector or Morbius? I guess it depends on if I draw what I need right here. Oh, I ain't doing that. I feel like Collector's better at that point. Multiple, man. Interesting. Uh, I can dock in right here, no problem. He'll give eight power, so that's more power that they'll have to commit to this side of the board. I don't care if he gets moved somewhere else, that's fine with me. Pixel multiple man. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna eat him right here? No, he's not. He's gonna move him here? That makes even less sense, to be honest. We're about to get a card here. That's bad. That's actually very bad. Um, okay, but that kind of tells me what I have to play then. Uh, play Morb. And then basically done for this turn, I think. I could still Dracula, to be honest. Depends on what do I want. Let me see. Dracula is going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4... One, two, three, four, depending on what the next card is. That's eight power. At most, Dracula can only be... Let's assume Apoc is next. We will do the be discarded. It's just as likely for Apoc to for Dracula to be completely zero. I'm gonna go with Morb. I made the right move. Uh, I will Modoc here. Because I'm almost 100% positive he is going to hit me with... Um, ooh, what's his nuts? Ooh, I've forgotten his name already. Um, Heimdall. And he'll just move everything to the side. So I just need to win. Yeah, I've already given up on mid. There we go. How do you win now, my guy? I don't have any cards in hand, so... Is he winning currently? No, he's not. Oh, I'm protected by from Shang on Necrotia, so I think I win. Marvel can't save him. Yeah, save protected. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything. <laughs> GG, my guy. GG. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And that's it, everyone. That's a deck, again. Draw the out. Just simply... Ooh, I can upgrade some dudes, I think. Let me see how many of my missions I get done. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm the king. I won. I get the Proving Grounds. Thank you. Yes, big time. Five. Uh, here we go. Okay. Almost all of them. Of course, the win a location with only one card one is the one that I don't win. Ooh, discard cards. What do I have here? Big in Japan. 100 credits. Close. Go to my collection. Yeah, Ultra. Ding, ding, ding. Do I get anything from here? Here are 50 credits, sure. Let's see, and Chavez is how much away from the next one? She needs 50, I have 7. Great. I'm in here, I could do it for Baby Morb, but I don't really feel like it for Baby Morb. He has 65. Uh, <laughs> if I ever find a Swarm variant I like, I mean, I may as well just get Swarm to the final stage, to be honest. But I don't have a variant for him that I like just yet. Almost there. My guy can almost go to infinity. No, he can't. He's a full 60 away. Sif is a whiles away. Apoc I can definitely do right now, but I don't feel like it. I could do it for baby, but I'll hold off. And yeah. Um, go to main. Anything here? Nope, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Till next time. Peace out. Bye.